Hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for taking the time to help me bleach my hair at home. I'm kind of really nervous. This is something that I would never recommend to do at home, and it's okay to be nervous. And the reason I feel that it can be possible is because I'm a professional, and I will be guiding you through. And another thing I want to make clear is that your hair is short. So shorter hair is way easier to navigate, to section, to get that blonde look. Okay, Nick, so before we start, we always analyze the hair. So mm -hmm. I can tell already looking at your head and your hair, the front is a little bit finer than the back and your head is a little bit lighter there than the back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start where the hair is darker. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to section the hair in two. Starting, I would say, from the top center all the way to the corner of your eyebrows. And you're gonna clip that up. Okay, so now, before we start bleaching, we're gonna need a brush, okay. and we're gonna need a ball, color ball, perfect. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need the bleach powder, and we're gonna need the developer. The okay. developer is gonna be the activator portion of the process. So you're gonna activate the bleach before you put it on the head. Can I see what number of developer you got? I have 20, is that the right? Done. perfect. Okay. And the reason why, Nick, it's important that you start with 20. So 20 would be a lower developer and a lower uh, speed. So the developer, basically what it's gonna give you is a speed. So what is gonna happen, it's gonna open your cuticle when it's mixed with the bleach and it's gonna start getting your hair lighter. So mm -hmm. I like to do it a slower and get more control to the process. So we talk about before we start that he doesn't want to bleach his beard. So what we decide is just to apply some Vaseline on the beards and maybe add a little bit of Duran wrap. So he's going to basically just add it on top of the Vaseline to block the beard hair to contact the hair that we're going to bleach. Okay, so I have the powdered bleach Perfect. line is right there. <laughs> so yep. I think it's okay. So you said to fill the container with the developer to the second. And then we just, yeah, make sure that it gets to the following line. So we're gonna mix it until it gets to an even consistency and creamy. You see, it's really thick. Yeah. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add more developer so yeah. you're going to add more development to get to oh, okay. the following line. Gotcha. So we're trying to maybe stay away one or two inches from the root. So the hair that is close to the scalp is going to heat up faster. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to avoid applying right on your scalp. I'm going to do the gloves now. Yes. Okay. Look at me. So you're going to start all around, moving down and moving down until you hit the shorter area. So what you're going to do, you're going to section and you're going to apply like that. Okay. So use the comb, use the comb that has the oh, tail okay. without the brush and put the hair, the hands underneath the hair. Like that. Perfect. And then you're going to apply the liner there. Okay. Now, remember, this is something that you're going to be utilizing all the time. When you apply product, use one side of the brush and then flip the brush and do the other. Yes. So you get an even saturation and application. Good job. Let go. Okay. So you feel it was even? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. now keep going. The back of the hood is going to be a little tricky. Yep. So now you have to kind of feel the back. Maybe I can like turn around and show you. Oh my God, you're doing amazing. Yep. You okay. got it. Like what you're going to do, you're going to try to lift the hair up and apply it on the bottom. This way applying from the bottom, basically what you're doing, you're cross-checking. So you're making sure that the hair is saturated from the top and from the bottom. So be careful because you're going too close to the scalp. You notice that? Yeah, I see it. So just do what you've been doing, but trying to avoid applying on the scalp. Okay. Keep okay. going around the ear. You see those ends? They prop. Yep, good job. I know the liner is insane. Ooh. 
Okay. This smell is strong. I mean, people don't know what we go through, huh? At the salon. Yeah, Imagine yeah. you find clients like that in a day. It's like I would get such a headache. Good for you for being so strong. <laughs> so now make sure that with one hand and the brush, you're making sure that every single strand of hair has bleach. Right. And now what you can do, you can put that uh, processing cap as soon as possible. So we're gonna set a timer for, I would say 30 minutes. 30 minutes, got it. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do everything again. So you have to rinse, you're gonna towel dry the head and you're gonna blow dry a little bit. You have all those tools. I don't have a blow dryer. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> do you wanna take the cap off so I can see it? Sure. Oh God, I'm scared. Oh my God, it's blonde. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it really good. Don't lift anything there. Oh wait, I have a fan. I'm gonna sit in front of the fan for a minute. <laughs> hey, just say, ooh, it feels like a party every day. So trying to look and see where are the darkest area of your hair and what are the lightest. You know, now we reapplying, so you don't have to be extremely, extremely, extremely like precise. Now you have to feel the bleach on the scalp. Now, instead of doing, look at me, the brush like this, this is how you're doing. The emulsion is applied on the base. No, don't run it to the hair. The emulsion is like this. Look at me, section, section the hair, divide it, help the other hands to divide the hair so you can see what's going on. And literally like just focus right there. If you roll, if you move or you slide the brush, you're not putting the bleach where it needs to be. And now what you have left is putting everywhere. Cannot be any place missing. When I say any play, it means that you have to put it on the scalp. Oh. Let's do 30 more minutes, but we're gonna kind of check in a little bit to see okay. what we're doing, okay? Let me see on the back. Oh. Okay, everything is good. So sometimes if the hair lifted in a color that you feel that is too warm, you can tone it down with something a little cooler that can make it more on the neutral side. If that makes sense. But what I want to make sure that you guys understand that just picking whatever toner at home is not the regular solution. Or what I would do as a professional. You have to understand, depends the level of that hair is being left. That means the level of that hair looks like is the toner that you pick. And another big tip, toners are not meant to fix problems. So sometimes we have orange hair, correct? And we want to put a purple shampoo or a lilac toner thinking that it's going to resolve the problem, but it's not really. So that's the only thing I want to put up there. Toning are something that is meant to enhance the color, add a different tonality to it, but it won't change the way the color looks. So now are you ready to mix? Yes, let's do it. So what we have there? We have there platinum. Platinum. And, and we have also, I cannot see without my glasses, but the other one is what? Sand dunes. Sand dunes, so, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix equal part of those because that's gonna give you like a good balance. It's gonna be really liquidy. It's not gonna be like um, the bleach. Okay. So if I were you, I would start here, the same area. Okay. The okay. crown center of the head <laughs> and just move as fast as you can. This is not gonna hurt. Okay. So just move as fast as you can. A lot, a lot faster, faster, faster. Don't get more product. product. Look down, product. don't even look at me. Fast, 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 fast. Got it, you got it, Nick, you got it. Oh my God. Fast, 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 Don't go to the front, don't go to the front. The back, the back, the back. Just got it, just got it, More, more, more. Get more product. More product from the front. Tick, tick. Faster, faster, faster. Like that, yep. Yep. Faster, 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 faster. Uh, cool. I can see that white hair coming. <laughs> okay, now is the time to make sure that you're not missing any spot. Remember, just trying to feel it everywhere in here, all the little details. So I think we should leave it eight. Okay. So what you can do, Nick, you can do the same thing. Just like a lighter shampoo, don't shampoo too much and condition it again and we're good to go. Nick, you did so good!
I wouldn't be able to do it without you. <laughs> There's so many little things and so so many little details that go into this that I never like thought would make so much of a difference. And this is important that you say this because I, sometimes I get questions and I'm like, oh, how do I do this? So what toner do I use? So what? How do I do my hair at home? And it's just like you need this amount of hours. So I would recommend you to avoid shampooing your hair too often. I would also recommend you to add a little more of a leave-in conditioner that we add more hydration because once again, you're extracting the pigment from the hair, but you're extracting all those natural oils and nutrients too. So if I were you and you're home, I stuck at home, and you wanna get your color done, just call your stylist and ask her the formula, ask her if she can help you somehow. I think it looks awesome and I love the color that it came out to be. I love this like almost platinum look, like it looks so good.